think they hate me. Yep. And I'm 18. absolutely beautiful um, and right now we are actually on the way to a baseball game so they play who they play Mizzou, Mizzou. yeah so it's uh, Mississippi State versus Mizzou um, and we've never been to a baseball game so I think it's gonna be fun yeah. the boys are in the back as and guys well. let me tell you we've already been blessed blessed beyond words yes. God is good God is good God is good always all always. the time yeah, um, and so the boys actually have on a little baseball outfit. Oh, is he asleep? Oh, crew, 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 crew. You taking a little nap? Oh, that of my, that of my little wiki poo. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to pretend. He's trying to pretend like he's sleeping. Um, but they have on, I'm sure y'all get a better look, but they have on like this little baseball Chicago, um, outfit and it's super cute. It was not planned at all. Um, but hey, um, but yeah, so we drove here. It took us about seven hours. Well, it was actually a little less than about six and a half hours to get here. Um, and honestly the, wait, wait, oh, sorry. Hi. Want to visit? Yeah. He official. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, y'all, we are so excited. Um, we are doing this. So we're going to go into this baseball game. It starts at 6. And then we're going to go out to dinner at 7. Um, so I'm super excited. It's like the steakhouse that they're taking this us to. Really beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. Place. Look at the so campus, y'all. We had Adidas at Western. Oh, Adidas. Didn't we have Adidas? Yeah, we had Adidas. Yeah, we had Adidas, yeah. Yeah, we had Adidas I think. Um, but y'all, it is so beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. They were telling us that this is the baseball game that we want to see. And so they're we're super that. excited. So anyway, we are we are actually pulling up. So we are going to go and we'll see y'all a little later. Show me what is new and fresh. And all the time, let me pray under the pressure. I wanna be your friend, cause if I do big things, God, I know that you won't be impressed. And like the woman whose daughter became possessed, she had faith in you no matter the mess. I wanna be like that, so when things go bad, I will not turn around and forget your message. It's how I talk to you when nobody looks. It's how you walk the soil to give me fruit. It's how you rock a card, and when I was flawed, you became a man to bring me the good news. Boy, what a blessing. Okay, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Y'all, look at these babies. No, don't play with the light. Hey, hey, no, no. Stop, stop. Off limits. Y'all, they have just, there is like this little, um, stop it. Tigerness space. Um, they got up at six. No, like 5.30 and they, you know, they slept in the car, but like, you know, it's not like real sleep. Um, and then crew slept in the car. Literally, we were driving for five minutes, fell asleep, maybe had like a 15 minute nap. Um, but they just had like the giggles, like, hey, I'm going to put you in a headlock. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we just got back from dinner. Um, we got a lot going on and that's just what it is with twins like literally 
they are just two handfuls, three, four, double it. Um, but yeah, y'all, dinner was really good. I had, I couldn't really eat a lot of it because I'm literally, Guinea, do you want to explain it? How do you want to describe it in the best way possible? Um, managing circus clowns. <laughs> Wow, managing circus clowns. Um, they want to play, jump, kick, yeah. throw, yeah. giggle, yeah. play. Uh oh, what's wrong? You got a book, eat your teeth. Well, that's why you got to sit down. Nope, stop it. Y'all, circus clowns is OC, but <laughs> they were really like. And it was really just like the last 10 minutes um, and a little bit in the beginning. But they didn't want to eat. I ordered them chicken tenders and fries. They didn't really want to eat. They had a couple fries. They did eat the chips, um, the sauce and chips. But yeah y'all so i didn't really get to eat but my as y'all saw i got like a steak and potatoes and then it came with like a little bread which was super good um and then kennedy got i don't think i showed hers but she got like a cajun or what was it like a uh, shrimp and um shrimp and no sausage crab and, crab and shrimp pasta lobster i remember seeing lobster on it no it's, it's crab oh, okay I, I think it's crab yeah um and so she's actually pescatarian stop it cash nicholas she's actually um pescatarian i think the tv went off but uh she went she's been pescatarian for about a month now and i'm actually thinking about doing it too just healthier lifestyle you know like uh, what he's under my shirt i think he's just talking uh -oh. Y'all, are you serious? <laughs> he got trapped under my shirt. There's just a lot going on, y'all. Um, but just to kind of give you guys an update. Oh my goodness. I might actually talk to you guys once they go to sleep. Because either someone's going to get hurt or... Let me just tell you today was a day. Turn the camera. Let them see them. Like what's really going on. So Cash is trying to hit this switch right here. Sorry. Oh! Cash is trying to hit this switch right here. And then they've been messing with this thing and got Vaseline all over it. Um, and crew is just under my shirt. Ooh. And got stuck, stop, stop, stop. Hey, boys, boys. No touch. Um, so yeah, it has been an adventurous day today. Um, but blessings and blessings on blessings because I'm so, 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 so happy that my family is here. Um, that part, that part, that part. Um, yeah, this is what they are doing every day, all day. Yes, but like, it they don't, they don't want to play with their toys, like, they don't want their toys. Yeah. They want the sockets, like, to get electrocuted. <laughs> right, Lord? No, thank you. People are probably going to run us out of this Marriott Hotel. Um, praise the Lord. And he just pooped his poop. And I just changed him. Yeah, we threw away their diapers. Out. They poop like grown man. So, um, yeah. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out my dump. Um, I don't... Cat. Crew. Cash. Cash. Stop. Um, I'm trying to figure out my Stop dump, y'all. And I don't know what to add, what not to add yet. Because I... All right, cut, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, he's having a manic episode. Panic. No, manic. <laughs> I said it correctly, manic. Um, I got that for y'all. NyQuil, she got NyQuil for them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We don't give our babies NyQuil. But yeah, y'all, so. The hotel's really nice though, and I I think we don't have to be up till like nine o'clock in the morning. Cut room tour. All right, y'all. So we got crew being a little nut, Cash being a little nut. My side, Kaylin's side, the little mirror. Her. This was the outfit with that jacket, and. 
bathroom. Oh. The bathroom. Where's the light at? Okay, there we go. The bathroom, full outfit. Um, and yeah. It's really nice, y'all. The office space, we got some storage under there. And then this is super nice, actually, because they've been our... getting into everything. Like the fridge, they've been opening the fridge up. The fridge is right there. And that's just another little storage. Thing. So, yeah. Um, tomorrow we have is our full day. Um, so, these are our schedules, but we start off, basically we have breakfast, so our day starts at 9, ends at 6 with dinner, but she's pretty much just meeting the campus, academic camp, uh, going on tour of the campus, basically. Yeah, meeting with, um, if y'all know, y'all know, and if y'all play volleyball, you know how busy it be, but we will go to sleep and talk to y'all. Maybe, I up. might, like, kind of, like, really, really talk to y'all. Once the babies go to sleep, um, because I kind of want to update you guys on some things. As y'all know, I just graduate, graduated. Oh. <laughs> Cut. As y'all know, I just graduated, um, and so your girl. Normally, I would have you know papers or assignments due at 11:59 p.m., but not today. Not today. But like I said, I want to update you guys because. Interim class, internship classes start June 3rd. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that, but I'm going to put the babies to sleep because like oh my goodness, look at this. So we got the pillow, we got all my pillows off. We've got him trying to get into the socket. He needs his diaper change. What happened? <laughs> yeah, it's just it, it's just a circus over here. It's a circus. Like it's just the twin toddler. About to be two. We ain't going to say the double T's. But, because we don't claim that. But this is definitely a stage. It's definitely a stage. But anyway, y'all. I will talk to y'all a little later, like I said. Oh my goodness. Hey, be nice. I'll talk to y'all a little later. Um, as y'all can see, and I should probably have put that. Um, I'm about to eat the breakfast because we really didn't eat at all um, there. And yeah, you ready to eat? I forgot my cup. <laughs> as y'all can see, I'll show y'all a little later, but we, me and the babies are matching. We have a little orange outfit on. I'm gonna be drinking this strawberry. He's stuck. He's stuck in the bed. No! Okay. No. Okay. There's just too much going on. So he's, this is why I can never just sit down and talk. He's literally stuck in between the dresser. And he's over there trying to get my food. No, no, don't touch. Okay. And you're stuck in the thing. Don't touch. Mommy will give you some. No. Oh, oh. <sighs> Y'all. They can just be. Oh, my gosh. And this is wasting. They can just be too much. Too, too, too much. For one girl sometimes. Um, my eyes twitching because I'm probably tired. I'm tired. Yes, ma'am. Let me get y'all set up. Don't touch. You're not even supposed to be up there. Anyway, yeah, so we just got back from breakfast. Um, and I'm going to eat. I'm gonna try and feed them a little bit. They did have grapes and yogurt um when we first got in here. Um so I don't know how much they normally love pancakes, but they weren't trying to eat this pancake. 
it was I ordered a cinnamon roll pancake and I only ate like maybe not even three-fourths of it my sister had some of it too but it's literally a gigantic pancake do you want some I gotta put some syrup on it. it's not hot and then the other half was like I've never seen hash browns like this hash brown sausage bacon a biscuit and yeah you want to get down huh down okay come on okay they were actually better today at breakfast than last night because number one they were like extremely tired um because they had woke up at like Maybe four in the morning. Do y'all see my eye twitching? Okay, it's done. But they had woke up at like four in the morning and didn't go back to bed until 5.30. And yeah, y'all. Um, anytime I try, because I was trying to get up early, do my Bible study, edit a little bit. Um, I said, absolutely not, Mommy. You're not going to do any of that. Um, and so... Um, I try to put them back to sleep. They were playing. They thinking it. No, no, no touch. They thinking it's um, it's playtime. Yeah, you got syrup on it because you're not supposed to touch it. You want some? You want some? No. Okay. I also didn't end up eating my food um, from yesterday um, because I just fell asleep after. Look at this bacon, y'all. That looks good. I just fell asleep. You don't know. After I put the babies to sleep. What? My sister actually did too. So we were extremely tired. Because like, I tell my sister every time, like, wake me up if I fall asleep when I put the baby to sleep. And I'm like, do you understand why I fall asleep every single day when I put them to sleep? Because I'm more tired than them, honestly. But. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this. We're actually supposed to be meeting um, my sister. They are kind of doing a tour on campus right now. And I wasn't even going to attempt to bring them. So I'm like, let me just let you have a little talking time. Um, you know, and so we won't have to carry babies around campus. So they are doing that. And then actually at 11, She's supposed to be having her photo shoot, but I think she texted me 11.10, and it is currently 10, 10 something, 10.40 maybe, but, mm, I'm good. No, he's standing on the chair. This is a little outfit that matches mommy. <laughs> Where are you going? But I'll talk to y'all. After I finish eating, because I don't just want to be eating and you guys watch me eat. Unless y'all want to do a mukbang. But I actually have some things to talk to you about. So we'll talk later. Anywhere I go, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Just chill, man. Like, can you just sit down and chill? If you're going to be next to me, you're going to follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> You gotta chill. And Crook is eating my knees. Crook? Nicholas. Crook! Stop. Like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Watch, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go to this other. Wait! I can't even get up, y'all. Get the remote so I can turn the TV on for you. No. Go, stay on that bed. Oh, gosh. Y'all. I'm telling y'all. Everywhere I go, they follow. And I thought because, like, when I was eating, they were everywhere, right, when I was cleaning up the hotel. But... Uh, when I sat down to eat, they just migrated over there. They're on the couch. They're everywhere but next to me, right over there. And then I'm like, okay. So they just want to be next to me. And then I go to the bed. I'm like, okay, let me just chill because I ate 
traffic come on let me lay down for a little bit and here they are oh my goodness like i might have to go in the bathroom to get a little oh what is that why are you jumping get bubba off the table i'm gonna have to i don't know they're just so busy y'all they are like the busiest babies I've ever, like they just can't just sit down and watch TV. I have brought their blocks and they make a mess with it, scatter it everywhere, and then, you know, climb on the, climb on the counter. Climb where they're not supposed to climb. Go put on, go get your pants. <laughs> go get your pants. Oh, don't, don't you hit Bubba. Cash Nicholas. That's not funny. You be nice to Bubba. See? Ow. You hurt yourself. That's what happens when you, when you do things bad. Stuff happens right back to you. <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> Give me a kiss. No? Yeah, I can't tell you guys how much of a relief it is to be done with school. Like, I, I just can't even express to you. Like, just knowing that I'm a graduate. Now, I do start classes June 3rd. Um, therefore my internship so instead of my internship like required for my major is for me to do an internship um, and so I just didn't know how it would look with the babies and all that stuff so I decided just to take classes instead anyway I didn't really talk too much about my graduation um, in my last video because I just didn't but it was so, like, I will never, ever, ever, ever forget that moment. Like, it was just such a special moment um, with me and the twins. Like, I had so much love and support from my family, from friends. Like, people I didn't even know were coming up to me asking to take pictures. And now he's fine. I was going to say to you guys earlier that do you guys see how hard it is? For me just to catch a minute and talk to y'all, like, this is like me having a conversation with somebody in person. Like, it's like interruptions because they just don't push Bubba. Stop. Give me a kiss. You ready to go night night? Can mommy have a kiss? Can mommy have a kiss? Oh. Oh. Lord God, please give me patience. In, G in, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> give him kissy. Hey, no, get off of him. Get off of him. <laughs> Y'all, they play like this. Every day. Multiple times a day. Like they wrestling or something. Ow. I was supposed to talk to y'all about my graduation. But honestly, I was, just, I was just saying that it was just such an amazing moment. Like, so memorable. Like, I just felt so loved, so appreciated, so supported. Like, and when I walked up stage, literally, the whole crowd was clapping. Like, standing ovation type like it was like crazy um and then like i said afterward like so many people congratulated me like all right y'all uh ouch i will talk to y'all a little later we are about to go to dinner um dinner is at six and we're going to this place what is it called kenny uh the taste the taste yeah open i don't think it can open um but it's an italian place um and i'm really excited because i've actually kind of been craving some fettuccine yeah i feel like i've had like not deja vu but god has given me these dreams like right now like i've lived through this like taking that photo shoot like i feel like i've been in that room really 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so my sister had a really great time on her tour. She got to talk to, um, you know, personally, or like, what is that word called? You got, got to talk to Ju Coach Julie, the head coach. Um, we had a meeting. They had a meeting, basically. And that went well, and pretty much all of it went well. Like, just, it's just been a blessing. Do you want to talk about it a little bit? You want to? Um, give them yeah. a scoop just slightly if y'all know what it is going through a recruiting visit it can be really tiring but it's been really fun um, I met some great people we have met with the athletic trainers the doc the, the surgeon doctor um, I've met with the academic advisor Maxine I met with the athletic um, academic like advisor athletic oh head over that um, Ann and her name is Ann and everybody has been really amazing like it's truly been a blessing and the people are just giving me confirmation uh more and more confirmation that i know god has positioned me here and word keyword positioned me here um so yeah like it's really it's really been good what else did we do um we toured like the whole so like their athlete cafeteria um we toured some of the apartments. We come on, come on, boy. Yeah. We toured some of the apartments. Um, we had lunch. We went to the training room. They have like their own ice bath. Like you don't have to fill it up. You do temperature. Really? They have like a water tread. Like the technology. They have a dietitian. Like they give you your own daily supplements, anti um, the multivitamin. You know your whatever you really need you tell them you need it they approve it they they make sure it's a uh ncaa approved and all that like it's really crazy y'all like when i say god has blessed me god has blessed me um with a capital b <laughs> um but yeah so what else so that's pretty much what we've done today um i haven't even been on my phone y'all like Kaylin was texting me and I couldn't even answer like people been blowing up my phone haven't been answering but yeah look crew Nicholas crew Nicholas look at the camera look look crew I caught you make sure you guys stay prayed up um getting your word today know that Jesus Christ our Savior loves you and um he's Preach. working things out for your good every single thing no matter the circumstance he's still lord say hi to that who's that who's that Y'all, they, I got a new name for them. It's Circus Clown. Because, huh? <laughs> Don't call Be my baby Circus Clown. Because okay, they. I'm always going to vouch for my babies. Okay. They some good babies. That's why you ran up out, the, 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 out of dinner. That's why we ran up out of dinner with them Circus Clowns. Cause they they were running they were running everybody out. They they put on a show. Okay, they put on a show. See, look, what is he doing? Stop it, cat crew. And he's closed his eye because he know he's wrong. It is ten o'clock. Um, we've been back from dinner for a while now. What are you doing? And we just kind of been talking to our family, kind of updating them. Um, we leave tomorrow morning at I don't know. Uh, breakfast is being delivered for us at 6.30? 7. No. 7. 7. At 7. And so we're probably going to leave around. What do you think? Eating here or on the road? Probably here. Yeah, probably here. Because, yeah. I think if we're out of here by 8.30. Yeah. Um, like, we don't have to wake the babies up. You know, I go down and get the food. We pack tonight. Mm. Get everything good. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it would just be much smoother. No, true, very true. I'm tired though, and I wanted to take a nap. Y'all know, but I didn't. But anyway, um, yeah, we're what's the place called? I don't know, but it's um, they got acai bowls. I got the babies a smoothie. Um, there's a coffee cake cookie. I'll show you tomorrow, but I'm actually kind of excited for it. 
and then she's getting us coffee as well but yeah so we're leaving kill it. i'm gonna say Show no later this. than nine kill it. um yeah. no later than nine preferably eight eight thirty um just because we want to get back as soon as possible have some day you know some of the day left when we get back home hi baby hi baby y'all i retwisted their hair today and they just like roll around like it literally needs to be done like every day cruise is not as bad as cash is um but i literally they had some fresh twists today uh before we went to dinner i retwisted it but anyway y'all um it's been a great time here i'm not gonna lie um we went to the italian place called taste the taste something like that um and it was really good i had got a shrimp fettuccine and then the babies didn't eat nothing at the restaurant um but when we came back they ate pizza and they ate all my leftovers because i didn't really eat either you know y'all know how it is y'all moms know how it is if you got your kids out to dinner but um yeah so i um we came back they ate and yeah we're not gonna even talk about it. she said there's some circus clowns we ain't gonna even talk about it um they were doing a lot like i'm not gonna lie they were doing a you lot. you know why i call them circus clowns why because they put on the show <laughs> they don't put on the show they go like action. right now he's pouring out his water on my hand why are you, and he knows <laughs> gotcha gotcha um there's barely any water in it but he don't know no difference he just pouring out the water anyway they were doing a lot at dinner like this is probably the most that they've ever done at dinner no. like like you know the standard is to sit in their seats right you know in their high chairs that wasn't it for them and then not even to sit in our laps they wanted to be on the ground like and they're wailing and you know just yeah but i'm gonna pray y'all already know i've been you know i stay prayed up but you know as they are approaching um my mom just told me i need to rebuke the terrible twos um but they they, they can be a lot but they also are the sweetest little babies in the world you mommy sweet baby like when they woke up from a nap they had like a three hour nap and um they crew woke up first and i just held him like a newborn baby and he just laid there and didn't move and didn't do nothing see my phone thank you <laughs> um i feel like they get the theatrics from me because they literally are theatric like they 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 don't they, they know what they're doing stop touching it hey cash no touching mama said no no Mama said no, no, Mommy. no, Mama said no, no, um, you know, I just have to be in prayer and the best way to, you know, raise my children up because in the Lord, praise the Lord, um, the best way to raise them up. And I know, you know, right now they really don't know, no better. They know better, but they don't know better. And so I have to train them up, um, you know, and point them toward the Lord. So no, all right, y'all, I will see you guys in the morning like what's going on i don't know so we are about to leave the hotel uh, my sister already got her stuff in the car so i'm about to put my stuff in the car and then actually bring the car around so that we can put the babies in the car. But we've kind of been up since 6.30.
<laughs> no, it's you have. She has 3.42 left. Nah, it said 3.55. But I might, you gotta put in waves. No, it's on wait. Maybe, maybe it is. 3.42. It's okay. Anyway, um, the babies had napped the first half. Like, basically when she was uh, driving, they napped. And they just woke Ooh. up pretty much toward the end when we were switching. And they dropped in a drop in a little bit. Probably like an hour, actually. I'm gonna post her picture. Yeah, what would you say overall like would you rate the trip overall excuse me i'm getting into this decade um decadent however you want to say it. apple uh strawberry pie green pie i'm normally like a apple pie person but these are these are not. Yeah. anyway um the best part of the trip or overall rating yeah it was a 10 it was not only a 10 for the experience, it was a 10 for what the Holy Spirit gave us during the trip. Praise the Lord. Yeah, for absolutely. Me and Kennedy had just a powerful time with the Holy Spirit last night. Like, um, and I described, this is how I described, like, Don't tell nobody that. Why? Don't tell nobody that. Why? Be no, well, no, not that part. <laughs> Not that part, but I was saying like I, I've heard this before too said like the feeling that you get when you encounter the Holy Spirit or like just in his presence is like a euphoric feeling like it just feels like your spirit out of man yeah like your spirit man is just trying to exude out of your flesh like literally and it's almost like I described it like like I'm heavy like my heart is heavy um and it's just so much like revelation. There's so much just in a sense like peace, like and truth in it. Um, and we were both like, this is probably like together. I I distinctly, is that a word? Distinctly, distinctly. I distinctly remember we had one at Western Illinois before we were leaving, and it was insane because I believe that was like kind of the catalyst of like our faith when God really started working. Now we were still still living in the world, um, but praise the Lord, He brought us out, and um, from there, yeah. So, um, but last night was powerful. Like we were just like praying like um speaking tongues like it was just like and it was just all spirit enabled like i couldn't control what i was saying like not not that i couldn't control it but it was just coming out like it was only the spirit revelations yeah the hidden secrets of god when god wants to reveal to you and the holy spirit is speaking through us and that's literally what it felt like and it also like not only maybe because we're twins so god is able to do this but like you know i would be saying something and she would have it too and it would be like i was just about to say that yes you know and so it was like so much so so much confirmation and just yeah. this conversation that we were having in the spirit um just a different language that yeah. is crazy I, I read a verse today it's first it's in first corinthians I don't have my Bible on deck, but I did. Oh, I sent it in the group chat. Read the scripture verse because this is just profound. Like, because we were actually talking with our brother too on the phone, like on the way back the first half. And like the things we were saying, and then God brought that scripture. I had just did a study in First Corinthians, and he just brought that scripture verse to my memory. I went to it, I read it, and we were all like, wow, like, whoa. So, Go ahead. start this part. Um, however, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has heard. Go ahead, speak it boldly. Let's hear it However, boldly. as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things that God revealed to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, in the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. 
what we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Amen. This is what we speak, not in words taught us. Ta words taught us by human wisdom but in words taught by the spirit explaining spiritual realities with spirit taught words whoa the like person, that verse right there and then the spirit the, the, the person without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the spirit and so Specifically, we were talking about. Let me finish it with. Let me just finish chapter 15. The person with the spirit makes judgments about all things. So, all things. But such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. But who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. And we were talking about faith. And just faith for things that we're believing in our lives right now. And one of them came to pass for her. And it's almost like people would think it's absolutely crazy. Like, oh, you have faith for that? But the scripture verses said, people who do not have the spirit are going to consider that foolishness. Oh, you just... Stop. Oh, you ain't the Lulu. Oh, you the Lulu. Yeah. Oh, you ain't really finna get that. Oh, you ain't really. Is that really finna happen? Oh, when it when? Let me. I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah. Like okay. they they just Keep speaking like they that. think it's foolishness, and that and that goes for people who do not have God in general. They think the word of God is foolish, and they, they that's because they're in darkness. They haven't the glorious light praise the lord i pray that they god encounters those people in a way that they have never been encountered before because the true love that god wants to show us the true character he wants to reveal to people is that he is a impossible god like he does the possible the impossible he does the impossible yeah praise the lord he does the impossible and so that so that you know that you're free, you're free. You have a peace of mind, you have comfort, you have no anxiety, you don't claim mental illnesses over your life. You don't claim your certain circumstances that may look like it's this, but you know that you have a God in everything that you do and he will get you out of it. And not only that, but he will provide for you Amen. exceedingly more and abundantly. Like you said, no ear has heard, no eye has seen, no one could have thought or have imagined because the it's things from God. that God has planned for you. Do you know what that means? It means that, and that brings it back to Ephesians, the things that you think that you want, God said, I'm going to supersede it. I'm going to do it ex exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask, think, or imagine. Right. Your mind hasn't even thought of it. Like your mind has not even conceived this notion of what God. You can might do have your life. A, a little desire or inkling for it, but what God can do with that human? Because you gotta remember, we're in the physical, and so our human minds aren't super always thinking of the supernatural. Our human minds are, don't have heavenly wisdom. So what God can do with that just little desire, that little dream, that little thing, blow it up. And you won't even have seen it been this big. You wouldn't have even seen it to look this way. But God did it. Amen. God did it. And all glory to God because I had said, you know, this is a grinding season. This is where you put your hand to the plow. Amen. Don't know the scripture verse. A little you, sleep, a little, little slumber, slumber, a little, little folding of the hands. And poverty, and poverty will come over you. Like mm -hmm. right, quickly okay. as that. And don't just think like, Oh, I have heard like kind of the whole of the hustle culture and all this stuff, but there is a season for everything, right? And so, and, and I just speak in my life right now, what I was doing before with school, babies, and social media, that was not me. That was Christ. That was Christ working through me because he gave me supernatural strength, supernatural motivation supernatural peace to do it all to do it all and i recognize that that was not me because i had to rely on god because he sustained me through it all like but I, he's putting his hand down his throat okay and stop it crash nicholas
them watch a show or something that you can put up there. Okay, you want to watch a show? But but that wasn't me. And so I just believe this is a grinding season where when you don't feel like doing something because of your emotions, your feelings, that, you know what that is? That's living by the flesh. And this is what I was gonna say, and you say it's a grinding season. It's a season of isolation, discipline, and consistency. And all of those are recipes for success, accomplishments, and, and ultimately blessings that God is going to bestow on your life. And, and people don't understand the isolation. People don't understand the consistency. People don't understand the discipline. It's like, why is this person like, you know, going by herself? Why is this person always busy? Why is this person always listening or reading her Bible or praying? Or why is this person? But the thing that we, you have to understand is like, you gotta get soaked into your word. You gotta get soaked into your prayer. Like, pray. And all of that's gotta increase your faith, your, your consistency, your discipline, all of your fasting, and I was gonna worship, praise, all of that's gotta increase. Because, and also you start to realize um, warfare and trials and persecutions and doubt from people and, and all these oh negative things. Look, oh, one second, we did that at the same time. It's a hand-in-hand -hand principle of our faith and believing, and it's like, it's that perseverance factor, it's like, like, are we really believing what we're saying? And, and our actions show that because it's the consistency in it. It's like, dang, this person is doing it for 30 days. Dang, 60 days? Dang, 90 days? Dang, two months this person is still on that? And God rewards us for that. And God rewards our faith. He re rewards our diligence. He he, he uh, rewards his labor. It, it doesn't go to vain. And I thought, because I had just finished Daniel, and I... Uh, it says that Daniel went up in his secret place, basically, to pray three times a day. Three times a day, he's making time. That's just praying. We, who knows, you know, when he was reading the Bible, whatever. But just to pray three times a day. Yeah. You know, like, we have to make time for God. Because we first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to unto you but people don't understand why they don't say discipline why don't they don't say consistency it's because you don't have God nothing can be sustained without God Did God give you the, and that's what I learned from, from my journey God gives you the desires to want to be a better woman want to be a better wife want to be a better sister brother whatever want to be a better business owner want to be a better person want to be a better whatever the case may be he gives you the desires and he provides it like oh he's going to show you this area you need to start waking up at 5 a.m in the morning Let, let's let's get here okay the next thing you you waking up at five in the morning now let's work it on your fitness you need to work out so god is telling you that this is it's that it's that human it's that it's that that heavenly knowledge that, yeah. that the lord's the lord's wisdom um and, and that's what i was going to say i was just going to say being connected to god is the only way that you are going to get through life being disconnected from your source from our creator Man, oh man, is it is it pain? It's a treacherous is world, it, is I it anxiety with it? Is it depression? Is it is it trouble? Is it is it worry? It's all of those things being disconnected from God. But when you have God, and, and don't give me take heart, baby. Take, take over yeah, the world. Don't, yeah, don't 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 think there's not gonna be trouble. Because He says in His Word that we'll be trouble, but take heart, for He has overcome it. And so, uh, He said, people. But it's a time where God's calling his army. His sons he's and daughters. His sons and daughters. He's calling his kingdom ambassadors. His soldiers. To, to, to let, let's get to work. This, we got kingdom work to do. We're um, here for the kingdom of God is near. Amen. You know, and I also want to share this with y'all. And then oh, I'm going to end the vlog. But we were talking. And I'm in Mark right now. And it talked about they, Jesus is basically about to be crucified. And... They were trying to entrap him with these schemes and all this other stuff, right? Jesus saw right through it. They asked him, you know, should we pay taxes? Should we or shouldn't we? And Jesus said, um, like he first stated, like, why are you guys trying to trap me? And then he's like, um, 
uh, whose image? Bring me the coin. Whose image is on? Yeah, he said, bring the coin here. Bring the Daenerys here. He said, whose image is this? Whose inscription is this? And then they said Caesar. And God said, or Jesus said, you know, okay, give to Caesar what is his, and give to God what is his. Give back to Caesar what you know. Caesar is basically what I just said. And I thought the Lord gave me this revelation that. The first thing he said is, whose image is this? And it made me think of us humans. Let her cook, let her cook. <laughs> it made me think of us humans. Whose image are we made in? Whose image are we? Like, we belong to God. That is our source. That is our lifeline. We belong to God. God needed us in, his, in our room. We are supposed to live holy and pleasing lives offer our bodies as holy and pleasing lives to God. We do not belong to ourselves. We do not belong to ourselves. Um, but that's why you have to be willing. You have to be a servant of Christ. You have to be humble. Uh -huh. I have uh, every single day. That part. Lay me low at your feet, Lord. Always, don't give me anything I'm not ready for. Don't give me anything that, that will um, exalt itself above you. But Lord, let me know that without you, I lack everything. And with you, I lack nothing. And so that goes for people, that goes for opportunities, that goes for places, that goes for things, money, provision, whatever it is. I know with God I lack nothing, right? And that's who he is in his character. He's a provider. Jehovah Jireh, let's, let's call him by name, right? Jehovah Jireh, my provider, yes. Amen. Let's pray over those who are feeling depressed, who are feeling um, down, who are feeling lost in life, who are feeling without purpose. I want you to know there is a God who loves you, who calls you, who says you are chosen, who says you are a daughter or a son of the God Most High, that every knee shall bow, that He loves you. And I just, I just pray that you know whoever it is, if it's your niece, your uncle, your auntie, your mama, your daddy, I, I just pray that you feel this earning to go to them and ask. You know about Jesus to ask get curious about the Bible because I promise you once you're in it James what, what seven, James 7 7 draw near to God correct me if I'm wrong but I know it's J or maybe James 1 through 7 1 7 or I feel like it's James 7 draw near to me and, and draw near to God and, and he'll draw near to you and on the other end of that resist the devil and he will flee draw near to God I promise he's gonna he's gonna come to you you're like oh I don't hear God well, keep, 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 keep drawing keep, 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 keep drawing Be in obedience to him. Drop your sin. Choose God. Choose God in all of your ways. That means you got to drop some things. I, I'm not going to lie to you. You got you to gotta separate yourself from sin. You got to separate the things from the world that you love. Because those things are destined to perish. They, they are useless. We need to start thinking, and, and what uh, again, it, it ties in with everything we're saying because when you seek the kingdom, provision follows. People don't understand that it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta let this go, I gotta let this go, I gotta let this go. You don't understand that when you seek God, you are gonna get all of those things, but in a more abundant and a lastful way, fruit that bears and that will last you for all of eternity. And you're also storing your treasure up in heaven because in the in the worldly life, you are you are going to die. You are going to be sent to hell. Like that's just the truth of it all, and 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 God wants you to know that you are loved by your Creator, the one who is trying to give you, the one who of the world, the 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 devil who is on the of the God of the world. He wants you to be trapped in your physical, in your in your situation, in your depression, in your mental illness, in in, in, in sadness, in poverty, and in, in lack Not of the money. God of this world, the Prince of this world. Well, they call, some let's call him like the God of the world, like, and I say lowercase G, but he's an idol of the world, right? Really? People yeah, make him I an know. idol. It says that in scripture. Yeah, I think it does. I know Prince of the world. Um, let's just fact check because we, we like to make sure it's the word of God. No false heresies over here, okay? Uh, no, um, I think it's... Yeah, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds, and I just read wow. this, has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. 
Wow. Because he gets you so trapped in, in the physical world, right? He took Jesus up to the highest point. He took Jesus up to the highest point and said, you could have all of this if you, if you worship me. And so what is that? Sex? What is that? Drugs? Alcohol? Um... Uh, just money, lust of money, lust of self, all of those things he gets you entrapped in that and it blinds you with the veil that you can't see God because sin separates you from God. So that's why I talk about when you want to hear from God, draw near to him. You got to let go of those, those sins. You got to let go of the disobedience that you're doing. It says in, in, in Proverbs, it says the beginning of wisdom, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning to, to uh, wisdom. But fools despise wisdom and not and, and knowledge. And so I'm telling you, like, God's word is so good. It gives you so much peace. Life. It gives you so much light. He life. is the he is life. He is the truth. Um, so yeah. But yeah, y'all. Um I'm going to let the babies watch their show. Uh, we are going to drive back. We probably got about what three hours now. Or so. Yeah, three hours and nineteen minutes. Three hours and 19 minutes left. I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog, our little weekend it's vlog. It's yeah. Okay, yeah, we love you guys, and um, I hope this word has blessed somebody or touched yeah. their heart, um, even just to draw near to God, like, because that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate purpose, is we are to be vessels of Christ. We are to be the light so others are attracted to that light, and we tell them about Jesus. And so this is nothing that we do. This is nothing uh, of our own personal gain, but we thank God. Glory be to God, our Father, that gives He us strength who gives us power. strength and power. And, and these words, even these words, I feel like it's going to touch somebody, but it's the Holy Spirit. Like, it's literally because this is what we're saying is going to touch lives. Um, but it's the Holy Spirit. It's the working of God. It's, it's, it's because we enable the Holy Spirit to intercede for us, right? We enable the Holy Spirit. We want Him to order our steps. So we say, Holy Spirit, we want you. We, we ask that you lead us in every single thing we do, in all things. When I say, I didn't say some, not the some. No, all things. I'm saying when I'm walking into the grocery store, when I'm when I'm driving, when I'm when I'm giving, when I'm when I'm talking, all things. And so I hope this really has blessed somebody. We love you. We love you, and we will probably see you in our next vlog. I don't know if we, really what's coming next. Okay. Um, it's kind of been um, life has kind of been moving fast, and so hopefully I'm gonna get this video edited up. So that y'all, you know, can will. Well, you can, because I'm about to post my picture, so you can. Yeah, true. True, yeah. but I also have my graduation. Oh, I haven't yeah. even, y'all, I haven't even posted my graduation vlogs. Yeah, we gotta get that out and then get this out. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, tap into it. Um, but I love you guys. Um, I will see you guys in my next vlog. And until next time, bye. Okay, y'all, so I am about to drop. Um, so we got the picture, the post, all of this. This is my song. Me. Yo, in my baby. Ain't no borders in the garden.